Hello everybody, this is Adrian with Guns for Everyone. Today's video I'm going to show you how to install quick detachable sling swivels on a Remington 870 shotgun. But before I continue, I'd like to talk a little bit about the website where I purchased these. Um, I purchased these directly through Uncle Mike's uh, website. And surprisingly, uh, I discovered they are owned by the same parent company that um, owns RCBS, the reloading company, uh, Butler Creek, Bushnell, I believe, and Blackhawk. So if you are a veteran like myself, you can purchase all this for a significant discount. There is a warning on their checkout page uh, to not disclose any price information to people that are not part of the program. But if you are a veteran, uh, sign up and you can get a, a pretty significant discount on a lot of different products. So let me open up this package and uh, show you what's inside. So inside you get the instructions, a new nose cap for the tube magazine, um, two sling swivels, uh, quick detachable, and a screw for the buttstock. So that way you can uh, attach your sling swivel to it. I'm gonna slide the 874 just a little bit. And shotgun is unloaded. In fact, there's no barrel on it at all. Uh, but I'll show you how to put the new. Uh, super simple. Just screw it on. Now you may come into the situation where the sling swivel uh, is actually cocked at an angle. All you gotta do is twist it and it'll go on straight. So let's move over to our bench and I will show you how to install the stud into the wood stock. In an attempt to save some time, I did a couple of things off camera that I'll quickly explain. The instructions state that you should drill the hole in the butt stock uh, two to two and a half inches from the butt plate. So from here to, you can see that dot right there is two inches. And the screw hole depth and size, you're supposed to use a 7 32nd drill bit uh, along with a 5 32nd drill bit. The 7 32nd drill bit is supposed to have a depth of one eighth of an inch, which I did right here. The flag will stop when it hits one eighth of an inch. And the 532nd drill bit is going to be a total depth of seven eighths of an inch. When you make your uh, initial mark on the buttstock, you need to make it as close to center as possible. So look at it from a few different angles before you make your mark and before you drill your hole. So I've checked it both from the front end and from the rear end, and it looks pretty centered to me. You can see it a little bit better right there with the light. So I'm going to go ahead and start drilling now. I'm switching over to the 532nd size drill bit. And again, the flag on this drill bit is at a depth of 7 eighths of an inch. I'll go ahead and drill that now. That drill bit was much sharper, as you can see. That should go without question. When you put this stud in, uh, you don't want to use the sling swivel to tighten it down. Um, use a punch. You don't want to break your sling swivel. And just as an extra step to ensure that the um, stud does not ever come out, this is going to be a permanent modification for me. And I'm going to put a little bit of wood glue on the screw um, to ensure that it does not come out. A rubber or plastic seal does come with the sling swivel. But the instructions state that this is only for a use on a polymer stock, not a wood stock. So I'm using Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Wood Glue. Just put a little dab on there. 
make sure it's on the threads. Go ahead and start that screw. seems like it's pretty good pretty well centered uh, the holes facing the right direction because you do want the sling swivel you actually do want that to hold your sling on the rifle or shotgun properly so you can see it's properly on there and it's as simple as that if you have any questions uh, feel free to comment message me um, Make sure to like and subscribe, it really does help the channel, and I appreciate it. I love sharing gun knowledge, and um, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you.